so this is basically called putting hay in the hayloft for my haystack that I have. But I have more hay. There's Paris out there eating. I'm surprised she's cold. I didn't know you could drag too if you want. That's why I said put it on the sled and drag it. I don't know, Melissa. Hit a step. You don't mind being in my video, do you? No, I won't. Okay. Yeah. You know, we should actually do our own delivery business for that. So, I actually should have got my GoPro to do these videos instead of using my phone. My GoPro is in my car, but little do I feel like going out there and actually getting my GoPro. But I'm going to walk by there anyway, so I might as well hook it up. Bond will be coming soon, but I guess I could show you what Bond says for what happens. So, this is the pond. It has a running shed in the back. I might go back here and show you. But it has two stalls, just in case we need it. Um, the horses stay out 24 7. Their stores are not quite heavy. Yeah. Like this is our feed shed. Um, so we all can feed. There were, well, I think six horses could stay on this 11 acres. Um, but one of these moved out, so now there's only. Four horses. I already saw that horse for two weeks. Okay, but I'm walking that. This is our tack room. We have our trash cans, our scoops, buckets. Under this bucket is a water um, heater for us to warm up our horse's feed. This is all my tack. Someone just left, but this is my tack, my two saddles. Don't know what brand of saddle that is, but this is my Wintech 2000, my buckets, my grooming kit, my um, shavings just in case you need to stall. I have two hot pink bridles, a dressage bridle, and a um, rope halter, but this is everybody else's cat water crop. Um, it has a heater in it, so it's not, you know, what's the word, frozen. And this is our bonnet shed with the ends. That's where we, you're going to put the hay in here on the ground to, for the horses to stay under here when it gets but this is our hayloft, which has everybody's hay up here. So, I am going, oh, they forgot to put this up, this chain up. I, I don't know why this chain is normally here, but I guess to keep any of the horses dry, I try to knock it out. And this is all muddy because it's snow, but it's pretty dry right there. We normally don't feed our horses with the hay up there because everybody says that it's unnatural, so just gotta put some time in the back. Thank you guys. Yep. Hi Paris. Hi good girl. Hi. She is done, and she does have a rip, a tear in her, um, thing. But she's getting her feet done on Tuesday, which I'm happy about, because they were overdue when I first got her, and I think that's her old bow tendon that she had on her left leg, but they said it healed up pretty well, and it's like not noticeable, but I could definitely tell the difference. But she still competes and does everything that she needs to do. 
and this is actually our riding arena here and back there. Oh, but let's watch and be careful. Good job, boys. Riding arena right here. They have uh, cones for dressage and that little field that I was just in by the uh, beach shed. You can actually ride there too. And we can ride in the big field. But that's like a whole 11 acres of field that I'm definitely not gonna ride in yet. But I'm gonna wait for the guys to come down and open this gate so the horses can have access to water and the running truck. Um, the sun is coming out, which is really nice because this was all frozen and ice and this is all going to turn into a big mud pile. We were actually supposed to ride yesterday, but we didn't. Um, this field goes all the way down to those houses. There's a corner back all the way in the back and also there's a, a log part of the um, field back there. So we have good grass. Huh? So I'm gonna wash this out. And this is our tiger post. Where I tie parrots up to bite her. And it's super hard and muddy to do this. And of course, you see, I that is Razzy, and then that's Willie, aka Brother Brown. Willie is part of some place name. Hey, let's go. Life is so easy when you live on 11 acres and your horse just decides to come up here and walk to get her food. Good girl. Green carrots and apples. 